There was nothing in this cup here. Oh, it just, just turned to slush. Five o'clock somewhere. Oh man, no more ice. Oh, that's warm. So warm. This one's for my homies. Let's make these cold. Everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today we are freezing beers with the sun. Stick around, it's gonna be a cool one. So back in December, I started testing solar panels from a company called Big Blue. I tested those in a solar-powered hot tent video. If you haven't seen that one, I'll leave it, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. That was a pretty fun video. But during my testing, I wasn't able to test the double panel solar panels. I didn't have a device that would, that would take the charge from it and the device that I was using, for some reason it just didn't work with it. So Big Blue ended up sending me a solar generator, a 500 watt solar generator. And right now I have, those, I have that all hooked up and we are running at about 120 watts from the sun and we are powering this ice co cooler. So we currently have the ice co freezer set to zero degrees. It takes 50 watts to run this. So depending on how the sun is shining, we are generating between 110 watts and 120 watts from the solar panels and powering this freezer. So the freezer's taking 50 watts of that 100 watt power that we're generating from the sun and the other 50 is getting put back into the battery. So we're charging the battery bank and freezing our beers at the same time. So let's see, let's see if we can actually freeze some beers. Okay, so in the ice cold freezer, we have one beer. Oh, I thought I already saw ice in it, but we don't. But that is wicked cold. Oh. <laughs> that is wicked cold already. Oh, wow. Oh, the ice. The ice is freezing. I have an ice cube tray. It's already starting to freeze. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's, let me eat it, let me eat it. It's off my dirty hand. Okay, whatever. All right, so we got the ice cube tray in here. We and got lemonade. and we got a lemonade for Charlie. Hopefully, this turns into like a slushy, and she'll be able to eat the slushy. Hopefully, I'll have a slushy beer. So our goal is not to freeze the beer; it is to get it as cold as possible before freezing. <laughs> and then, and then enjoy it afterwards. And Charlie's gonna enjoy her lemonade. We're gonna cut the top off. Of it. And some ice, but right now we we need to shut this and gather as much cold as we can. Right now, the sun is doing a great job. It's powering the freezer and charging the battery bank all at the same time. So let's go, let's go check the battery right now. Okay, when we started, I think I was at 60% battery. So it's gained 6% battery. So we are, we are taking 40, 40 watts from it and we are putting 109 currently into it. And we're at 66%, guys. All right, so this battery bank from Big Blue, I have been testing this for three months now. I haven't charged it from the wall outlet once, but every week I bring it outside, I charge it with the solar panels, and throughout the whole week, this is what I use to charge my phone. And it lasts the whole week, and then the next week I'll, I'll plug it back into the solar panels and recharge it. So I have been using this for three months, every day for three months, and it's been working great. If you guys are on the fence about getting a battery generator, I would get off the fence and I would get one, because I am really liking these. Big Blue supplied me with this one and I've been using it every day since and I really enjoy it. So if you guys are looking for one, I highly recommend going out and getting a battery bank for your outdoor adventures. This one's from Big Blue. I'll leave it down in the description below if you're interested in getting it from Big Blue. But this one has two quick charge 3.0 USB ports. Here we have two USB-C charging ports. And over here we have our 120 volt two outlets. If you have a three plug outlet, they go into here. The, the ground plug goes here. Here is our input DC 
input from the solar panels. And this is actually from the, the other solar panel while I'm charging it with the micro US, not micro USB, USB-C. And here is our output cigarette lighter and this is power in the freezer. All right, so I've been testing it. I've hooked it up to, to our fridge to see if it would run our fridge. It is not powerful enough to run the fridge. Um, it gives you a warning and it shuts it off so it doesn't damage the, the battery bank. But the one thing that I really wanted to see if it powered in a power outage was our pellet stove. So the pellet stove, there's a lot of wattage in the beginning when it's starting to fire up and the heating element is catching the pellets on fire. But then after that, it's only using fans. It's got two fans, the combustion fan and the blower fan. So once, once the heating element turns off, it runs on minimum wattage and, and it was running the, the, the pellet stove. Now we can just take that power bank out of the closet set it on the ground next to the uh, pellet stove and plug it in and it's good to go. In addition to that, we can always hook it up to the solar panels too and have that power. So we're gonna let the sun and this freezer do its thing for a little while and we'll get back to you when we got some ice. <laughs> All right guys, so the sun's been running the freezer and charging the battery for about three hours now. Let's go check how much battery we've gained and how much wattage we're getting. So we're up to 76% battery life. We're only drawing between 20 to 30 watts of input show the sun it's been cloudy all day like this so we we've actually been able to get a charge on this and run the freezer for the last three hours we're still drawing about 40 to 50 watts of power and still gaining power so we're we're charging and using it all off of these solar panels let's go see how cold our beer is oh and Charlie's Lemonade. All right, so the freezer says that it's sitting at nine degrees. It keeps fluctuating between two and 10 degrees. I don't know why that is, but let's let's open it up and see what we got going on in here. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, I'll show them the ice. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the ice is um frozen. Crack it, crack it like you would an ice, ice thing. So my dad did not add enough ice into enough water, water into the thing, obviously. Let's, let's go sit back down. Oh, how'd you do that? That's, that's a salad. That's a salad. Oh, <laughs> that's a, that's salad? a salad ice cube. That is how'd solid you, ice. How'd you eat it so quick? It's that's solid ice. There's no water in there at all. Well, at least one side. These ones still have a little bit of water. But that's okay. That's okay. It is freezing them. All right, all right, all right. Moment of truth, though. Let's check out this beer. Let's check the temperature. What's that say? Let me see. Oh, that's that's in Celsius. That's 26, 25, 26 degrees. Tw oh, yeah, 26 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is, what's that, six degrees colder than freezing? So this is a cold beer. <laughs> okay. The, Can you open this for me? Let's, uh, this feels slushy-ish. So Can let's... Let's see how cold no, this you're not is. In the frame. That still only says 40, 49. It is okay though, because it is slushy. It is slushy, yeah. That's strange. That it must be the reflective silver part. Open it with your knife. Yeah. Your spoon is right there. I know, I see. You have to open it all the way. I'll show them. Oh, that is slushy! So, that is slushy! It is slushy. I'm gonna get a spoonful. Oh, <laughs> that is slushy. That is slushy. That's so Let's cool. That's so cool. Um, a, li a little down. There you go. Holy. I I, I gotta hurry up and open this beer. I I want to see if it freezes while, while when I open it. What do you mean? Like really cold beers. Once the air hits them, they freeze. Let's see. Cheers. It didn't freeze. Ooh, that's cold. This is so good. You're right. It did not freeze, but it is cold. Let's see. Let's see the actual temperature of the beer. There was nothing in this cup here. Oh, it did just turn to slush. It just it turned freeze. to slush. Oh my god. Holy crap. There wasn't anything in that beer in this cup, I swear. Oh, that's cold. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it again. Okay, nothing in the cup. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, it just turned completely to slush. That was so cool. That was so cool. That was so cool. Oh boy, cheers. I want to try some of the lemonade. No? Oh. 
I wish I showed the cup the first time. You missed. You missed completely. Oh, adult slushy, kid slushy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the of the star. Ooh, that's cold. Ooh, that's cold. Let's get that ice back in there. Ooh. This worked out great, guys. Yeah. Wow. That is so cool. It's still slushy. It's still slushy. Oh. So sour. Oh, it's so cold. It's not the hottest day out, guys. But that is the coldest beer. Wow. All right, guys. If you like this sort of thing, think about hitting the subscribe button. We'll leave it right here in the middle. You gotta put it back on your shirt. If you guys like this, uh, <laughs> uh, God, it's not showing me. No, 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 you're there. Sit down. Okay. Uh. ASMR. ASMR. Okay. If you guys like this sort of thing, think about subscribing. The subscribing button will be right here in the middle. Um, thank you for joining us on this. Sorry, I hate you. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! There's the boy. That's so cool. I said that's so cool again. <laughs>